Hello, and welcome to Our Kids, sponsored by Jefferson County Public Schools. I'm Fern Creek High School correspondent, Samuel Stewart. This March, we introduce you to some talented musicians. We see how the Academies of Louisville is impacting education, and we check out the latest attendance pop-up party. Plus, we have these student stories. Kids at Farmer Elementary are taking a look back into history. At Pledger Ridge Park High School, there are many ways that you could find help whenever you have times where you need it the most. Guitar students at the Youth Performing Arts School got to attend a master class by an award-winning musician. So what can we do? Go up. We are at the Youth Performing Arts School in Louisville, Kentucky, and we are hosting T.Y. Jong, who's on a big tour across the country, and he's stopping in to give the kids a master class today. T.Y. Jong is from Hebei, China and he's been studying at the Juilliard School for the last six years where he just got his master's recently. He won the biggest international guitar competition last year and it's on a 50-day concert tour right now. Working on that in the beginning made it so it's just kind of natural for me now make sure I'm ready to play. I think it's really unique of, in, across the country to have like a professional touring musician working with the kids and giving them real feedback and TY you know has a lot of these kids are at a performing arts school and they're interested in you know doing the arts in college and whatnot so TY is a graduate of Juilliard so you get you know someone on the real top of the food chain and get their advice and their wisdom and their feedback and their experiences. The time gap between each note going into the beat or crescendo. The big thing for my guitar class, I hope kids learn how to have process. And when you have, when you work with an artist like this, you get someone's, you know, 20,000 hours of practice time and their critical thinking skills. And whether they want to become a guitarist or not, they get to learn, you know, when you have expertise at that level, how do you break things down and how can you do that anything that you're passionate about. It's awesome to, to pick the reign of a young master. I mean, it's it's so cool and... Uh, the goal is to match what's the right hand place. He's literally a guitar hero and they have a chance to interact with him and, and be friendly with him and he's such a good advocate and voice for it. We're so happy to have him. The No Middle School Touring Choir prepared for a recent trip to an international music festival in Princeton, New Jersey. No. So this is the touring choir at No Middle School and we're going to Princeton, New Jersey to sing in a competition that we've been practicing for quite a bit now. It's an audition choir that's been meeting after school uh, in preparation for a trip to Princeton, New Jersey where we will be singing at the Sing and Joy Princeton 2019. brings choirs together from all over the world to compete and sing in friendship concerts and just share in music making. I'm so proud of everybody. It's been such a long process trying to get everything together and getting everything memorized and especially Mr. Cooper for pulling us all together and selecting the groups and the music. We've been working really hard. We've done every Tuesday and some Thursdays for a few months now. I think it'll be a really good opportunity to meet people from different countries because there's going to be people from all around the world coming and maybe interact with them and talk to them. I wanted to be part of Toy Inquire because Mr. Cooper had been telling us about it and like how other countries would be there like China and Germany so I really wanted to meet other people and interact with them and you know I love chorus and music and singing and it'd be so cool to connect with them and just come together and probably make friends hopefully. The main part of this experience is that idea of collaborating with with students from around the world. I'm extremely proud. I've thrown a lot of very difficult music at these students um, for seventh and eighth graders to do what they're doing all a cappella um, in three four parts. It's just really impressive what they've been able to accomplish. Historical Character Day at Farmer Elementary has become an annual tradition. Correspondent Lillian Farmer brings us the story. The fifth graders had to select their own historical figure to study and present about. 
After they had done their research, they had to come to school on December 20th dressed as their figure, ready to speak. Each student had their own spot and unique pose in which visitors would come step on their button and bring their character to life. The Historical Figure Day is used as a way to teach the kids many aspects of world history in a fun and active way. The one behind the program is fifth grade teacher Ramona Ford. Ford speaks about the importance of the day and how it helps the students' backpacks. I am the fifth grade social studies teacher here at Farmer Elementary. Today we have our Historical Character Day uh, going on at Farmer. This is a culminating project that the kids started on at the end of October and the students chose a character that was important to them that was an influence on American history. And new this year we added that they're sharing their character not only with our visitors today, but they went to the classroom to present their character uh, instructionally to um, uh, each classroom um, in the building. And they shared a uh, Google slide presentation uh, with the students who were there. Well, for the students, first is meaningful to them because they chose the character that they wanted to do and they've been able to spend the last eight weeks learning about that character. And then they looked at the other characters that were chosen by their classmates for uh, connections that they had, and they formed groups. So we have groups of philanthropists, uh, founding fathers, uh, abolitionists, and that group together uh, made a presentation to go to the classrooms as well uh, to teach the other students about them uh, in the classroom. So this project has been a farmer tradition since the school opened, and with the addition of the backpack, um, this is a great artifact for all of our students to add because it has covered all of the backpack skills. Effective communication, uh, being a, a culturally competent citizen, being a collaborator, uh, because they've had to do research, uh, they've had to find how it was relevant for them, they've had to work together in a group, and so, uh, they're getting to model that for the rest of our building when they present to the, in the classroom on what backpack skills that they have met in doing their classroom presentations as well. From King Louie to Amelia Earhart, the students really know their stuff. Graders at Farmer Elementary have learned a lot in their historical character day. For our kids, I'm Frank Creek High School correspondent Lillian Farmer. We have a lot more stories to come. Stay with us. Attendance in school is vital to a student's success. That's why we're taking a bold step in launching our first ever district-wide student attendance campaign, encouraging students to commit to missing no more than six days of school this year. It's unlike anything we've ever done before. Picture pop-up parties, school celebrations and incentives. We are teaming up with community partners, local businesses, and celebrities to share the message about the importance of attendance. Every day counts. JCPS serves over 100,000 students, and with that, a lot of waste is generated. We need to do our part to recycle because it can serve natural resources, help the environment, and save money. When we recycle, we put less coal and gases into the power plant, which reduces the amount of toxins in the atmosphere. We are JCPS, and we recycle. Yeah! Welcome back to our kids. I'm Fern Creek High School correspondent Samuel Stewart. Faraday Fire Science Academy students use the jaws of life to get hands-on experience and life-saving skills. We are at Junior Achievement Chase Finance Park this morning. We are going to be removing the car that has been here since 2004. Before all the walls went up, they decided they would be able to lift the car in to Finance Park. We've got a new sponsor and we need to go ahead and take the car out. The problem now of getting it out is the doors are not big enough. So lucky enough for us, Faradell has agreed to come in, take a look at it, and see if they can take it apart as part of their learning experience of the programs that they have going on at Faradell. We have the Faradell Fire Science EMS program. Uh, they're here cutting apart the car. Today we're doing a drill for extrication in case a patient has a car wreck where we have to get in and rescue them. A lot of people think extrication is removing the patient from the vehicle, but in this case you're actually removing the vehicle from the patient. So that's what we're training on today, taking the doors off the car, breaking the glass out of the car, getting ready to take the roof off the car, make a convertible out of it. Anything you need to do to get access to your patient, you cut away from the patient. These are tools, some of these fire departments haven't touched them yet. You're all the first ones to touch them, okay? So, he's gonna go over the tool with you. It's pretty hard, one of, uh, one of the tools actually will weigh around 30, 40 pounds, and you have to be angling it in as well, so 
if you let go one time or slip up once, it could end up just going against you. They're getting a real good situation today. They're getting to use some tools that, like I told them earlier, some of the fire departments haven't even used these tools yet. And so they're getting experience that even some of the fire departments around town have not gotten yet. And we're, we're thankful to get that opportunity. It shows us if uh, we want to like have this pathway, it will like it will help us in the future. It's definitely not an opportunity everybody gets. The work is actually very hard, and it takes a lot of dedication to be here. I want to be an EMT, and I didn't know that till I got into this program. So I, it definitely put me on the right course to where I want to be. It's honestly a good like uh, starter because it gives you a little prep of what you're actually going to be facing. And especially with the teachers that we have, they're always trying to get us to do field trips, learn about new things that have to do with firefighting. This is a Saturn, which has plastic door panels. Okay going to definitely different characteristics of a normal car. I think it's a really good experience like for the kids that are going straight out of high school to the fire program they have this experience. So I've done spreaders, I've done uh, window cutters, I've used the pike, I've used the flathead axe. I think there's no uh, substitute for hands-on training. Uh, you can read it, you can see it, but when you physically do it uh, and you have to uh, come up with a way of doing that on your own or evaluating a situation and coming up with a solution um, and then being able to follow through with that solution, um, I don't think there's anything that's any more valuable than that. I never honestly expected something like this to be open, but now that I know that it's open, I'm actually glad that I'm able to do all of this and that big uh, fire departments are reaching out to us to help us out with this kind of stuff. Take a seat, Tim. Yeah, yeah. The academies of Louisville celebrated their new apprenticeship initiatives, the program is expanding, and students are getting more opportunities to get work experience. Exactly one year ago today, JCPS stood with 13 business partners at Moore High School and we delivered a call to action. And the Louisville business community, wow, you have stepped up in a big way. I am so proud to announce just one year later, we now have 105 active business partners working hand in hand with our 14 Academy of Louisville schools. And that's a great accomplishment in one year. Last week I began an apprenticeship at a Highland Insurance Agency and I already love the peaceful work environment. And I'm blessed to have the opportunity to work with Norton's Healthcare and I work at Norton Audubon Hospital. Uh, one of the amazing things I get to do in the aviation program is go to Bowman Field and learn how to fly planes. For the past three months, I've had the great opportunity at working at KFC's corporate IT help desk. And now having kids that can in the morning take those important classes and in the afternoon be connected to a paid apprenticeship um, and then be college and career ready um, is instrumental. So the more apprenticeships we can have in this community and preparing kids for the workforce, the better off we will be and have our kids college and career ready. And right now, um, we have in JCPS, we are now uh, providing apprenticeships and everything from early child care, graphic design, maintenance, information technology, culinary arts. So we have kids working, students working all throughout our organization. And as a matter of fact, we're offering apprenticeships now in 10 industry sectors, and that's more than any other industry sector or many industry sectors in the entire state of Kentucky. So I'm very proud to be standing up here and say that JCPS is the leader in this work. Well, I think what is happening with the academies of Louisville is not only one of the most exciting things happening in Jefferson County Public Schools, but it's one of the most exciting things happening in K-12 education across the Commonwealth. Thanks to Southern and Shu and Kinnis, I'm able to pursue the machine tool trade, a trade that I actually enjoy. The Academy of Louisville business partners share what it means to work with JCPS students. The Academies of Louisville are creating the new generation of leaders. These aren't just kids, they're our future. Our future scientists, builders, thinkers, dreamers. 
the people that will make the world great. Humana is invested in our community and also in growing our future talent pipeline. And knowing that we have such great talent at, through working with JCPS and the Mayor Summer Works program gives us the opportunity to share the resources that we have in our corporate environment with the community and the students and help grow them into future education and career opportunities. We're a teaching facility, number one. Um, and we, that's who we are in our, at our core. And so this gives us the opportunity to um, uh, make healthcare realistic for students so that they're not like, I wanna be a nurse. And they really don't understand what that means. And so it really puts, connects the dots, I, I would say, it connects the dots between what they see in the classroom and what it actually uh, looks like in, in real life. What's great about manufacturing today it is it, it really is different. It's not just about assembling things, it's using the tools to be able to do that, to diagnose you know, issues that we may have in the plant with equipment, using things like 3D imaging, um, virtual reality to do testing, um, tools that the kids are using actually every day. It's almost like they get to play you know, when they come to work using the same things they're doing when they're at home. What you all are doing now with the academies is, just, is, is phenomenal. I mean, the opportunities that companies have to, to come in and, and really make a difference um, in these kids' lives is, is something I've never seen in the 22 years that I've been involved with, uh, with the credit union. I think it gives these kids a real hands-on um, experience. There's very few school districts that are doing what JCPS is doing right now. The teachers have been phenomenal working and partnering with us. We've had opportunities to go into school and be in the classroom and talk with the students. We've had community um, projects like the regatta at J-Town and the solar cars and things of that sort. So our associates partnering with the students, collaborating on those efforts. I think it's really been a lot of fun for both. I think it's a great opportunity. Um, I co-opted when I was in high school and loved it. The greatest thing, in my opinion, about it was, and I, I know the kids look at it this way too, but they get out of school to do what they want to do, and they're making money while they're doing it, and they're getting an education. I mean, they're not in school, but they're still getting an education. So they're learning a valuable trade, and hopefully a trade they'll stick with. When we bring people in that are able to learn still in high school, it saves that time. It, it lets them come in on step three when they are ready to work full time rather than starting at step one. And so it allows them to now not only take the two months that it takes to get into that realm, but it advances them that much in their career. We've had over 300 students in um, in 2018 alone um, who came in and shadowed um, the stories that come out of them, their enthusiasm that comes out of it, seeing them in and out of our offices, just excited about what they saw, about what they were going to see if they hadn't been there yet. Um, it was fantastic. I loved, I just love seeing them coming and going and everything that they're doing um, and, and what that sets them up for moving forward. We've had the privilege of working with students since the spring of 2018. All of these young people are still in the program and nearly every one of them has a job in one of our hospitals or medical practices. These students are an important part of our Norton Healthcare family. It's true, we've made an investment in them, but they've made an investment in us as well. They work hard. They go to school, take classes with us, and find time to work as much as 20 hours a week caring for our patients. We really thrive on culture as well as, uh, as uh, morale. And, and they realize when they get over into, into the business, it's not just about, okay, I need to do my work and my particular responsibility today. They see that there's opportunities. They see that we're constantly promoting people up through the help desk or even into uh, the other departments within IT, and they see the time's coming. So they, they just, they, they do the best they can, and they know if they do, then we're gonna do everything we can to develop them and, um, and help them grow uh, a great career here. The partnership with the Academies of Louisville is an excellent opportunity. We're just delighted to be partners with uh, Shawnee and Valley High School, giving students an opportunity to hands-on train in, in fields that they might find interesting and that would secure their future for years and years to come. Correspondent Justin Dunn shows us how Seneca High School's Junior ROTC program gives kids a chance to learn leadership skills. These students are working hard to become disciplined members of society. They are striving to become proficient in their leadership abilities between practicing drill and regularly training their mental and physical attributes. Their daily class starts with a very structured roll call. 
From there, the class normally leads into history of the U.S. Marine Corps, drill practice, or physical training. Some of the students plan to join the military, but even the ones who don't believe that this program will help attain their goals. I was planning on joining the military, but I changed my mind. I actually want to go to college to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. These students are training to be proficient in drill as well. They practice over and over again, taking their mistakes in their stride and never giving up. They strive to make it to the national competition in Florida every year. I served over 25 years in the uh, United States Marine Corps. Um, this program focuses uh, primarily on leadership, teamwork, camaraderie, and esprit de corps to uh, both this program and to one another. So I, I hope that that'll be something that they take with them um, well beyond uh, graduating on uh, this program and graduating Central High School. These students know as long as they keep their values in hand, they can succeed in anything. For our kids, this is Fern Creek correspondent, Justin Dunn. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more stories about JCPS. Great things are beginning to happen here. We're really looking for this being a central hub, a place where we can provide supports for students, tutoring for students, classes for parents, families, ACT support, all kinds of supports that the community can get engaged with. We see this being central to our summer learning, our backpack camp initiative. And this is the type of work that is so important. Attendance in school is vital to a student's success. That's why we're taking a bold step in launching our first ever district-wide student attendance campaign, encouraging students to commit to missing no more than six days of school this year. It's unlike anything we've ever done before. Picture pop-up parties, school celebrations and incentives. We are teaming up with community partners, local businesses and celebrities to share the message about the importance of attendance. Every day counts. Welcome back to our kids. I'm Fern Creek High School correspondent Samuel Stewart. Thomas Jefferson Middle School students got a big surprise one morning with attendance pop-up party. Local celebrities welcomed the students to school and they celebrated with a dance party. Thomas Jefferson Middle School, and the radio show came out to our school, and Blazing uh, came to perform and stuff. Yeah. Coming up, the hottest artist in the city, I have Blazing! <laughs> Congratulations on this great achievement of being uh, in school every day. Daily attendance is so critical to your success and we want you to know that we're really, really proud of you. We're really proud of you for making every day count. Take advantage of this. This is exciting to be a school that's on the rise with your perfect attendance. I need my perfect attendance season, my perfect attendance season. Y'all come up. It was really important to me because, like, seeing that the kids are improving on their attendance, and I feel like that I can help with that. And I'm Jamal Brown. I play for the New York Giants, and I'm right here from Louisville, Kentucky. This football, signed by yours truly, um, to, to one of the students that had perfect attendance, um, his three years here at TJ Middle. Did you come to school and getting your education and make sure you don't fail in life? One day you'll be standing where I'm standing, man. Keep, keep the hard work going and keep being a leader for everyone else. All right, my man? You know, I've kind of reached the highest level of what I do. Um, so, you know, just giving them a, a, a realistic picture of like, hey, if I work hard, I can be where he's standing. If we don't show up to school every day, we can't get the things that we need to be successful. <laughs> Miss Lester, six days, every day counts. Every day counts. <laughs> Correspondent Sophia Gay introduces us to Freshman Academy at Ballard High School. High school is full of trials and tribulations where students face new hardships and challenges. In high school, you grow not only as a student, but as a person. Walking across that stage to receive your diploma is an achievement like no other, an achievement that requires hard work. 
The class of 2022 recently signed a commitment to graduate banner, promising to themselves that by 2022, they will be graduation ready. So today when they signed the commitment banner, it was basically for them to just really have a visual and be inspired to go ahead and do what they need to do to cross the stage and also to reflect on where they are now so they can start having those conversations with themselves, the counselor, or their family and friends of maybe anything they need to change. For some students, signing the banner acted as a reminder of the work they've got to put in to be graduation ready. Um, signing the banner means to me a uh, commitment to graduate and a reminder to keep myself on track to graduate in 2022. Some students have already begun to think of their education outside of high school. I feel like this banner means to me is the fact that I'm making a commitment to promise myself that I will be able to graduate and get a, and find a good job and or college. The class of 2022 is hopeful and positive for their next three years of high school. With the sense of determination and passion, they can truly do no wrong. In 2022, I'm going to walk across the stage with my diploma and as many credits as I can get. I'm Ballard correspondent Sophia Gay for Our Kids. Correspondent Madison Weiss shows us how students at Pleasure Ridge Park High School can get help with counseling. I work for Centerstone and we have a relationship with JCPS and so we are, have a lot of therapists placed in various different schools. Ms. Cassie is one of the many mental health counselors at PRP providing support to students who deal with problems in their life. She has been here for many years and has known since she was 15 years old that she wanted to become a therapist. This is my room and I get my referrals and then we contact the schools and we set up services how we normally would and then I'm here three days a week. And you know, I, I think we have a really good working relationship here. Cassie says her love for helping others goes much deeper than counseling. <laughs> I love working with kids. Um, it's always been my calling. It's always been my passion. If you're ever feeling down or just having a rough patch in your life, you know now that there are multiple people right here in Pleasure Ridge Park High School that you can talk to. I'm Pleasure Ridge Park High School correspondent Madison Weiss reporting for our kids. Congratulations to Allison Tu, a senior at DuPont Manual High School. Two was named the Top Kentucky Youth Volunteer of 2019 by the Prudential Spirit of Community Awards. Two's organization is called Stamina and she obtained more than $100,000 in grant money. Let's take a moment to listen to more performances from YPAS students Landon Vandergriff and Maxwell Rothman. Thanks for watching our show. Joining me is the crew from Fern Creek High School's media program. You can watch entire episodes of Our Kids on the JCPS YouTube channel. Until next time, keep supporting our kids. Woo!